This is Emma. Hello. Okay, and today we're gonna um, try some Norwegian food, which or candy, which has been brought to us by our lovely friend Cyril, who's going on the video. Ooh. <laughs> we'll start with this one. Yeah. So, how do you say it? Troika. <laughs> Troika. <laughs> but I mean, it's. Uh, I think it's Latin. It means trio. Because there are like three oh, things like inside. Lines. Oh, okay. Oh, give me red stuff. Triple Yeah, it means <laughs> uh, triple enjoyment. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's quite sticky. Yeah, it is a bit sticky. Okay, I'll break. I'll just take off a small piece. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's like jelly. Okay, that's not so bad. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to be like Turkish delight or something. you like it? I don't know. What do you guys think is in it? Um, is it dark chocolate? Because it tastes like dark chocolate. Well, it's a bit dark, yeah. yeah. And like... It's like the jelly stuff. Yeah. And then whatever that soft chocolate thing is called. No, it's not soft chocolate. It's marzipan. Oh. oh the chocolatey bit in the middle. Is that the one oh, that yeah. Is? No, that's nougat. Yeah, that's what I mean. And then yeah. there's marzipan. Yeah, oh, okay. Don't you like it, Emma? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> There's like five different textures. No, four different textures. Do you want to put it down and finish it later? Try oh. something else. Oh, okay. You want to put the next one? You're like, mm -hmm. oh my god. Where? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a baby one. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Stop. this is going to be in the video. <laughs> it's called, you can it's guess. Lungs. It's It's very... Uh, just think about what those words look like in English. It just quick means... lunch. Yeah, a quick lunch. Oh. That's what it means. Uh. So that's like the ultimate like trip chocolate. Like when you go out skiing and stuff, that's what you bring. Because it's really easy to share as well. <laughs> Don't you understand the region chocolate? You have oh, to... You yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. We have that so on like... Yeah, but yeah. Oh, that's the symbol of the chocolate company. Oh, it's um actually a kind of stork, I think. Oh yeah. The milk chocolate is better than the English milk chocolate, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's basically a Kit Kat of nicer chocolate. Yeah, mm. that's... Um, pastels, I think. Try, try to pronounce it. What? Gomp. Gomp. <laughs> Gomp. Yeah, that was really good. Okay. It's the Norwegian equivalent Norwegian to um, Norwegian jelly beans. Tastes the same. I haven't had them in such a long time. It's a bit different from jelly beans, at least the texture. The texture. I can't really decide what the taste is. Sugar? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's like sugar. Yeah. 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 You get like a different gump on every packet if you look on the back side. Let me see which one it is. Oh yeah, it's the reading gump. <laughs> I think I might prefer jelly beans. Yeah. But they are nice. Yeah, they're Hobby. It means the same in Norwegian as it does in English. Oh, okay. And on the front it says get a hobby. <laughs> So it's like a joke. No, oh, right. <laughs> it doesn't say what it is in anywhere. Mm -hmm. 
Just try it. It's gonna be weird. Oh, I think that's really good. Is all your chocolate like weird stuff in it? <laughs> no, no, no. That's... For some reason I thought that one was gonna have rice krispies in it. Oh yeah, it's a bit difficult to pull apart. Mm. It's because of the marshmallow bit. Oh. Yeah, jelly. <laughs> Do you like it? Oh yeah, I, I think, think so. it has like a banana thing in it. Uh -huh. Why, like, is jelly in lots of Norwegian chocolate? <laughs> oh yeah, I guess so, yeah. Oh, we don't have it as much, do we? I can't think of any that has jelly in it. Oh, I tried this really nice Cadbury's thing. It's called Marvelous Mixes or something mm. like that. Yeah, they're weird. weird. <laughs> they have jelly since I'm allergic. Yeah, I can't decide if I like them or not. Because <laughs> they're also weird. I think I do. Yeah, vepsible. <laughs> it means. Um... I know that one means something strawberry. Yay, I know <laughs> the word, <girl. laughs> It's like a wasp's nest. Oh. That's what it means. Ew. It's. Um... <laughs> Why would you call something that? <laughs> <laughs> because it's got a little surprise inside. It's not <laughs> spicy, is it? Oh, it's a bit sour. Okay. Is there any fucks? Is it like a bonbon? Or is it like a chewy? No, you have to suck it. Or you're going to break your teeth. Okay. So it's a jawbreaker? Okay. Well, no. Oh. Not really. Or maybe what you call a jawbreaker. I don't know. It's not what we call a jawbreaker. Don't chew it because you'll break your teeth. <laughs> Take a while. It's really nice because you you start feeling the powder inside and it's oh it's so yummy. <laughs> it's kind of strawberry. <laughs> yeah, I mean it is strawberry flavored, so we have them with licorice flavor as well. I don't know what it was. Me neither. <laughs> oh. What? How sour. Oh, oh you, no. did you get to the powder? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no, I just wasn't expecting it. Because <laughs> I could like taste nothing and then suddenly would. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, I mean, that's what I like, because you can, like, suck out a bit at the time. <laughs> oh my god, it's so low. <laughs> so on the back of your leg, there's more chocolate. Oh my god. <laughs> I need some more white. Oh, I make such a mess. <laughs> I can't believe I'm 20 years old today. Woo! Oh, we've Happy past 7 o'clock, haven't we? Yeah, past 1 at 7 in the um, evening. Congrats. I was one week late. Your mother just likes to keep people waiting, doesn't she? There was a heat wave on the day I was born. My mum was wearing a vest top and shorts. <laughs> Still want to imagine because it's so cold today. It's kind of a bit like sherbet lemons, but more sour. And more strawberry and sherbet lemon. Do you have sherbet lemons? Are those just like lemon drops? Mm -hmm. So the Dumbledore's favourite mm. muggle sweet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> they are really good. I love chocolate. But they're just like regular drops, aren't they? With lemon flavour. What are drops? They're just like... Well, you call them drops. Right? Yeah. Hard sweets. And then, then they, they sometimes sherbet have... inside. Yeah. Do you have sherbet? Power, 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 yeah. That's kind of like sherbet in that, but that's sour. Oh. Sherbet is so good. Did you ever have in like primary school, they just had like those plastic tubes and they were yeah. sherbet? Like Oh yeah, 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 like, uh, like in America they call them like fairy sticks or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, we had that. Yeah. yeah, yeah sure. We call it we call it uh, soda powder in oh, Norwegian. Yeah. Cool. I think I'm almost done. I think you said that's just normal chocolate. Right? Yeah, that's. Because you you often get chocolate. Milk chocolate. It's just a small little bar, isn't it? It's like Kinder. That size. means uh, milk chocolate and. On the inside, there's a fairy tale. If you look on the inside of the wrapper, isn't there? Yeah, there is. is let me see naughty? which one. <laughs> yeah, let me see which one it is. Something. Oh, it's got a castle on it. Yeah, because it's like fairy tale chocolate. Something about a huntsman. Let me see. <laughs> no. Oh, it means uh, east by and west by. What was mm-hmm. that? Like, you say east of the moon and west of the sun. That's like a thing in Norwegian with, that we say instead of far, far away. Oh, oh okay. okay. Well, that's that's, that's much more poetic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like far, far away. That's true. That is what, isn't that what the place in Shrek is called? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> What's the fairy tale about? Again, let me see. It's got a bear in it. <laughs> I'm really it's good at Norwegian bear. words. No, it's B J O R N. Oh, but the O has a line for it. Yeah. I'm not good at saying things. This so I'm going to spell everything. <laughs> there's this line <laughs> in Terry Pratchett in one of the um, City Watch books that I read recently in the Discworld series. And um, Death comes up to this dwarf called Bjorn, Bjorn who's just been murdered. And he says, um, Death says to the Bjorn, um, do you believe in reincarnation? And Bjorn says yes. And Death says, so you'll be Bjorn again. <laughs> <laughs> but Bjorn just goes, yes. And Death goes, <laughs> that's so funny. Or is it just that you like to read it at Christmas? No, it's, a, it's like their version of Christmas is Hulk's Watch. No. And, it's well, and it's about that. Do you have to read this book in order to find it? No, but the first one I read was Hogfather, so you don't need to read any others. Um, cool. The other ones I've read are The Color of Magic and The Light Fantastic, which are like a duo, and they are the first ones, so you can start with them as well. And then the City Watch series I've read Guards Guards um, Men at Arms and Feet of Clay I think the first three are just cool but in that like there's a series within a series so okay the, the fairy tale is about a farmer who has a daughter who's very very pretty and then one day a polar bear comes to his house and he says that if you give me your pretty daughter, then I'll make you as rich as you are now poor. And then he manages to convince his daughter to go with the bear. Um, and then he gets like super rich and the bear takes um, the girl to a cave, which is on the inside. It's like a beautiful castle. And then... Every night when she goes to bed, it's really dark in her room and someone sleeps with her in the bed um but she can't see who it is and then she goes home and her mom gives her a candle so (coughs) she can see who gets in bed with her and it's a really beautiful prince and he says that he's enchanted into a bear when it's day um but in order for the curse to be broken he has to marry a really ugly princess and then lots of stuff happens, but the pretty girl and the bear end up in the end. Aww. That's so cute. It's like yeah. the princess kind of, and the frog. And like Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's sort of like the Norwegian version of that, I guess. Okay, shall we try this one next? And then we'll do that one next. Okay, so just top this. Top this? Yeah, it means like top rice. 
because it's um it's got, it's got do you call it puff dries like rice, like rice krispies no <coughs> it's not like rice krispies not like oh, if you're talking about the cereals kind of like no it says in, in the english it says milk chocolate filled with rice krispies and toffee oh okay because it's not like the rice krispy cereal we, like there's rice krispy cereal and then there's like Anything that's in chocolate that's remotely <laughs> like rice krispies is <laughs> okay. also called rice krispies. Okay. I like this one. Oh, what one is it that's like lion bars? It's already bar? two okay, bars no. in there, so you can take one each. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I swear we have this already. Like almost. Yeah, you probably do. It's almost like lion, but not mm -hmm. quite. It's like it's got the texture of fudge, but then it, it tastes like, like I, don't, I don't know what that is. Okay. It's like these. <laughs> yeah, they look like this, and then they're like fruity, chewy sweets. Yeah, then it's probably like that. Tastes nice. I think so. it's a bit harder. Mm. And then it's definitely more like a natural lemon taste. Mm. 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 I don't know. That's all the things. What was your favorite? That's all the candy. What was your favorite? Um, what do I have? The wasps nests. I think mine is either just the plain milk chocolate or this lemon thing. Yeah. yeah. I like the wasp nest, but I wish they changed the name. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they need to work on their marketing because mm -hmm. it's not good marketing. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite, Sarah? Mm, I think Troika. <laughs> the red one, one with one? the weird oh, jelly okay. stuff. same the only difference is that the ones on the back they have like different gear according to what kind of goomp they are <laughs> like this guy has a book because he's the I reading like goomp. they still wear blue gloves though which technically chickens and cockles can't do but i get it's a cartoon so <laughs> they have some um taking some liberties yes <laughs> okay that is all for today's video i hope you've enjoyed it Like in the like Emma's face.